So if you're looking at geology as a generic subject, and that's going to explain really what the geosphere is, which is the physical rock, solid rock part of the Earth, which other spheres like the hydrosphere, cryosphere, like the biosphere, they all function as a consequence of the Earth physically being here, physically being accreted and orbiting the sun through the sun's gravity and having and also having our natural satellite so close allows for the pull of gravity from the moon to cause things like tides where the earth spins around and the earth earth's oceans and and hydrosphere is going to be affected through tides. Now, in terms of different subjects and disciplines that kind of branch off from the geosphere which includes the foundational geology. I call it the pure part of the geosphere, the geology, is the mixture of these different subjects, things like soil science, which is a very large area, obviously span all the continents and the ocean floor, you know, archaeology and how you're using the rocks and geology to figure out different specimens and artifacts. Then looking at all of the water-based subjects, hydrology, glaciology, limnology, all based on how the water flows and behaves and exists on top of a solid rock layer. Also got groundwater as well, which is in between the rock and the dissolution of softer rocks through chemical and physical weathering, making caves and caverns, kind of climatology and how the water in the atmosphere, water vapor is going to affect and carve and change and manipulate the Earth's surface. You have erosional processes, looking at ecology and how the living biosphere is going to live and interact with the geosphere, the physical rock part. Paleontology, which links to archaeology, looking at different life forms in the past. Then you have the pure geography of the locations and maps and how the Earth shapes different geographies and landforms and geomorphology. Then you've got the classic physics and chemistry that go into geology and looking at that section of the very microscopic aspects of geology. And last but not least, you have petrology, which is the general rock science. And that can lead into anthropology and how humans both are affected by the geosphere and how we work with the earth at different locations where we form cities and, and how we function as a society with the earth as a backdrop and using it. And also how humans work and affect the geosphere and how we change and manipulate the earth's surface to better benefit our society. Things like bridges and roads and tunnels and mining, fossil fuel extraction, energy ores, all those different topics are based around the geosphere, how we access our oil and natural gas, which is always in the news and media and controversial subjects, and also how we fuel our modern Western society. So the geosphere is a beautiful, complex, an intriguing subject which covers the fundamentals of all science on this planet, but also we can look at the geosphere and geology of other planets in our system called planetary geology. And that's the geosphere. Geosphere is one part of the Earth's spheres, like with the biosphere, and is important in its own way to explain the fundamentals of how this planet functions, how the physical solid rock of the planet functions. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, check out more videos on our channel. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again.